Before we make the initial incision, it's important to note that the sclera of a fresh eye is very flexible, so it's important to be careful when handling your cutting tools and making the incision. Using sharp pointed scissors, you can create the initial opening which you will then use to complete the incision. If you have trouble starting the incision with the scissors and you wish to use a scalpel, use the blade to carefully create a small opening where you can continue to use the scissors. Once you begin cutting around the circumference of the eye, you will begin to expose the jelly-like vitreous humor. As you continue cutting around the eye, the vitreous humor should start to leak out. This makes the exterior of the eye somewhat slippery, so caution is important when you're finishing your incision. Stop cutting before going completely around the eye and fold back the sclera to expose the vitreous humor and the retina. Here we can see that the vitreous humor is completely clear and the retina is also almost completely translucent. In a fresh eye, the retina can be easily damaged during dissection, so now is a good time to note the blood vessel structure of the retina. To gain access to the rest of the vitreous humor, complete the incision and remove the back of the eye. In order to gain access to the lens, we need to remove the vitreous humor from the interior of the eye. To do this, we're going to use our blunt probe to carefully loosen the vitreous humor from the surrounding sclera. Much like preparing the outside of the eye, removing the vitreous humor in a fresh eye can be fairly time consuming, so we're going to speed up the process. Once the vitreous humor is removed from the eye, it will most likely be fairly spread out, so it's important to clean up your workspace before proceeding with the next step of the dissection. With the vitreous humor removed, the clear lens is now easily visible along with the iris. We can also see the iris by flipping over the eye and looking through the clear cornea. Before removing the lens, trim any extra sclera from around the iris. Now the lens should be clearly visible. One of the first things to note when examining the lens is that it is very flexible. To remove the lens, carefully use your blunt probe to slowly break the fiber connections between the lens and the iris. Once removed from the rest of the eye, we can more closely examine the physical properties of the lens itself. 
The lens is very flexible but does bounce back to its original shape after being pressed. Also, the magnifying properties of the lens should be clearly visible at this point.